Hello, I'm Annette, the founder of Canon Coop, and my mission is to equip math teachers with resources to create meaningful math activities that captivate students beyond the textbook. So today's mission is to create this matching activity. I bet you're going to learn something new about PowerPoint that you didn't know already. All right, here we go. So I have an activity that is order of operations where they will be matching the order of operations with their the answer or the simplified version. I have, an, I have already a template that you could download. Um, it's free. It's in the link uh, below this video. But if you want to create your own, let's try it. So I'm going to start by inserting a shape. And I'm going to choose two different rectangles. So I'm going to choose rectangle number one. I'm going to put grid lines and guides on it so I can see how large they end up being. I am going to shape the uh, format the shape size to be about 1.4. So I'm going to right click on the shape. I'm going to go to format shape. I'm going to look at the size and see how the height is 1. I'm going to change it to 1.4 so I have a little bit more room. I want the length to be, I'm just going to drag the length about that size. I'm going to move it up to the top of the page. And that's about the size that I'm going to want my students uh, to use. It's large enough that it's easy to cut out. It has enough room for me to put an equation in it. I'm going to then copy and paste it. So I press control C and control V and I'm going to move one onto the other side. So these are going to be your two pieces that are going to be matching together. Right now they're rectangles and we need them to have a little bit of a matching so that they're pieces that can be put together. All right, I'm going to control copy both of those and I'm going to change the formatting a little bit. So I'm going to put white as the interior. I want the outline to be black. I want the weight to be a little bit more. I'm going to say three, just so it's easy to cut out. Now, here's where the fun begins. I'm going to insert another shape that is under block arrows, and it's that chevron shape right here, that arrow. Okay? I'm going to click it, have it open up. I'm going to you right click it, format shape, it, shape if it's not open already on the side of your um, PowerPoint. I'm going to look at the sizing and remember how we had the height of 1.4. I want that height of 1.4 again. Okay, so the shape it gets a little bit elongated. I want the shape outline. You don't have to shape, change the shape fill. I want the shape, shape outline to be three. So it's the same exact height as the um, rectangles that we have here. I'm going to elongate it a little bit. So the arrow is a little bit deeper. Okay, then I'm going to put it right in the center, making sure that it covers the seam. I want these want to make sure that these are all aligned perfectly to the top. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing, arrange, align, top. Okay, so now they're exactly aligned. I want my middle chevron shape copied at some point because I'm going to need to use it twice. So I'm going to press control copy and then I'm going to click out of it. Okay, here's where the fun begins. Are you ready? You are going to take this shape. You're going to click on the left rectangle first. Then you're going to press control or um, command if you're on an Apple computer. And then you're going to click the chevron shape. Now both of them are kind of um, selected. I'm going to look at the top and click shape format. Now this may be something new that you didn't know already. I want to merge my shapes. So I'm going to click that down arrow and I'm going to subtract. Look, we just made an arrow. Perfect. I'm going to then press control V and it's going to paste that right smack in that middle where we had it before. I'm going to now click the rectangle on the outside first, then the center shape format, merge shapes and subtract. And now I have two pieces that are going to fit perfectly together. Isn't that neat? I then layered a text box over top and I just, I actually put a text box, I'll click it out here and then I put type here 
You can change the font, you can add an equation, whatever you want to make this activity for your students. I made the size a little larger. I selected the text box and then I'm gonna select this piece of the um, puzzle, the matching activity. I'm gonna arrange a line in the middle and then my type here will then be in the center. I'm gonna copy and paste that, move it over to the other box and see how those arrows kind of, or the red lines kind of helped guide you to make sure that that was in the center on that one. If you don't believe them, you can select both of those, a line in the middle as well. And now you just created a matching activity where the pieces will fit together. You can highlight those and you can copy down the page as many times as you want. I hope you learned something new. I am here to teach you more about creating meaningful math activities. So check out the template below and hop on my email list and I'll see you there.